Hello and welcome back to this series of rigid connection, uh, connecting a beam to a column. So in the previous videos, we went through the tension parts, including column web, column flange, end plate, and then beam web. Now we are going to continue with the compressive side, starting from column web in compression. So the question is uh, the rigid connection between HEA200 as a beam, HEB300 as column connected with an end plate with the width of 250 millimeter, 320 millimeter height and 16 millimeter thickness. We have six bolts for this connection, M20, class 88. All the parties are a steel S355. Now the next uh, item for the calculation comes from table 6.1. Column web in transverse compression. Uh, the design resistance is taken from class 6.2.6.2. So in class 6.2.6.2, we can see the column web in transfer compression is given with two equations. Uh, FCWCRD is determined according to omega kwc b effective cwc twc and fy divided by gamma m should be less than the same equation but considering the value of rho which is the effect of the buckling so omega is the reduction factor we are familiar with that from table 63 b effective cwc is the effective width of column webbing compression for bolted end plate connection B effective C web in column will be calculated according to the given equation 611. SP is the length obtained by dispersion at 45 degree through the end plate at least TP and provided that the length of end plate below the flange is sufficient up to two times TP. So SP, uh, the conservative value is taken as TP without that dispersion. And S is taken as RC for a rolled I or H section column. S is taken as RC. TF of the column. AP is given uh, in the other figure. TF of the beam. So if you go through figure 6.6, six, six, transverse compression on an unstiffened column, uh, case A, we can see AP is given as the uh, throat thickness of the belt. So coming back to the equation, S square root of 2 times AP is the leg size of the weld or leg dimension of the weld. So here we have 8 millimeter on the bottom. SP is taken as TP if we have sufficient length below the flange. Coming back to our sketch here, we can see that we have 40 millimeter, which is greater than 2 times 16. So we have enough space there. As a result, SP can be taken as TP, which is 16 millimeter. S square root of 2 times AP is 8 millimeter. S is taken as RC for the column. It is 27 millimeter. HEA, HEB 300. TF of beam is 10 millimeter from HEA 200. And what else? TF column is 19 millimeter now we can calculate b effective cwc then we have twc here we have fy we have gamma m0 and then we need to find out kwc omega and rho so for now let's determine b effective compression web of the column tfv 10 plus 2 times 8 plus 5 times 19 plus 27 plus 16 272 millimeter now we can determine the reduction factor omega we had this when we were calculating uh, column web in transfer tension we used this table uh, we know that beta is 1 omega is omega 1 and here be effective cwc that we calculated here so B effective CWC is 272 millimeter and TWC is 
11 millimeter, AVC 4743 S square millimeter, and then omega will be omega 1, which will be 1 divided by S square root 1 plus 1.3 times 0 0.81. So for the given equation 69, we have omega B effective TW FY and gamma M0. The remaining parameters are K, W, C and rho. Rho is a reduction factor due to buckling. And here in these equations are uh, the procedure how we need to calculate. First, we need to determine lambda bar P is the plate slenderness according to the given equation and then we check if lambda bar p is less than 0 0.72 then rho will be 1 uh, otherwise it will be with the equation 613 b so dwc first h of the column is 300 millimeter pf of column is 19 millimeter and root radius is 27 millimeter so dwc will be 300 minus 2 times 19 plus 27 300 minus 2 times 19 plus 27 is 208 millimeter and then b effective c we already calculated 272 millimeter fy 355 megapascal and e is 210 gigapascal tw of the column is 11 millimeter now we can calculate lambda bar p 0 0.932 square root of 272 millimeter times 208 millimeter times 355 megapascal divided by 210 gigapascal times 11 millimeter square 0 0.83 and as long as it is greater than 0 0.72 then Rho will be 0 0.83 minus 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.83 S square, 0 0.91. So it means that 9% of the capacity should be reduced due to uh, possible buckling of the plate. Now, if we have a look on the equation, we have Rho, we have V effective, TW, FW, FY, gamma M1, gamma M0, and the only remaining uh, parameter is KWC. It is given also in the code. In class 6262 item number 2, we have this statement that uh, according to sigma COMED or maximum longitudinal compressive stress, which typically in the calculation we do not have it in the beginning. So it is written as the note. Generally, the reduction factor is taken as one. No reduction is necessary. It can therefore be omitted in preliminary calculations when the longitudinal stress is unknown and checked later. So we can take KWC as one. And now we can come back and calculate our compressive capacity. Omega 0.80 something, 0 0.81, 1. 272 millimeter, 11 millimeter, 355 megapascal. Gamma M0 is 1, 0 0.81, 1, 0 0.91, 272, 11 millimeter, 355 megapascal. Gamma M1 is also 1. Obviously, the second equation is the minimum 860 kilonewton, 783. So if C W C R D is then 783 kilometers. That's the end of this video. Uh, I would prefer to keep these videos as short as possible, and uh, that's why I split the entire video to different parts that it doesn't look like so long that uh, one would get tired to watch one hour and a half video at once. So it's uh, just with parts. I will continue with the calculation for beam, flange, and uh, web in compression in the next video. And also we will go through the shear of the column web. After that, we can calculate the resistance of this connection. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.